What is up, you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. I'm Lloyd. I had a question from this guy. It was a pretty good one. Um, he says he feels pretty comfortable talking to girls kind of like one-on-one, -on -one, but when it comes to really loud, crowded environments, he gets pretty nervous. He doesn't know how to keep the conversation going, um, and he finds himself just a little, it's too intense for him, and he doesn't know what to do. So he's wondering, Lloyd, are there any tips and tricks that he can use in these kind of environments? Well, dude, not only am I gonna give you some tips and tricks, I'm actually gonna do you one better. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step process about how to go out and pick up a girl in a loud, crowded environment. Okay, so let's get right into it. So the first thing that I'm gonna say about this is loud, crowded environments for a lot of people, um, they're actually pretty good for picking up women if you know how to do it. But if you're anything like me, you have a lot of social anxiety. Like the first thing that I think about when I go into a crowded environment is like, oh shit, like you just kind of feel overwhelmed by the whole mass of people. You don't know them, they're strange people. Your reptilian brain starts going crazy. So you feel, it feels very, very intense to you. And I think that's something that a lot of guys suffer from and I see it happen with a lot of my clients. What you need to do is you need to take action quickly. You're in a crowded environment, there's gonna be people bumping into you and stuff. Start start a conversation with the people around you. They don't have to necessarily be hot girls. They can just be, they can be a dude or they can be a, a girl that you're not really that interested in. Whatever. Remember, the enemy of anxiety is action. Take action to eliminate your social anxiety. The longer it takes for you to take action, the harder it's going to be, trust me. And then you're just the guy that's standing around in the crowd that just wants to go home. Don't be that guy. There are a lot of clients that I get that get into that mode where they just end up not even approaching people because they didn't take action at the beginning of the night. Okay, so when you when you start talking to people, uh, step one, so just, hey, what's up? How's your night going, man? Cool, yeah, I'm trying to get a drink too. Or, hey, what's up, I'm Lloyd. Cool, what are you guys up to tonight? Yeah, we were gonna head to that place too. You know, just, just start casual conversations, get in high fives, pick the energy up. Okay, once you've done that, step two is to kind of look around and see which girls that you wanna to talk to. This happened to me actually like, I think three or four weeks ago or something like that. I think it was during St. Patty's Day. I walked into the bar and the bar was freaking packed. Like there were so many people there and there's tons of environments where you can have a packed crowd, like festivals, block parties, clubs, all these places have super crowded environments. In this case, it was a bar. It's a, it a loud, crowded bar with a bunch of people holding drinks and stuff. So it was very chaotic. I didn't want to be there, but I did the things that I had to do at the beginning. I'm feeling pretty good. And I see a group of girls, like four or five of them in the distance. And I'm thinking, okay, I kind of want to talk to those girls. So step two is find a group of girls that you, you, know, you want to talk to or a group of people that you want to hang out with and make it go to them. So I have to move through the crowd. I move through the crowd and to try and get to these to close to these girls. And this is kind of what hot girls will tend to do. <laughs> if, they, if girls like a guy, they're not gonna usually walk up and approach them, but they will hang out nearby them. They give a little proximity. So that's what you gotta kind of do in this situation. So you go up, you navigate through the crowd, and too many of my clients, I see them do this, and I see a lot of other guys do this, is they kind of just stand there and they wait for people to move out of their way. People aren't just gonna move out of, their, out of your way, dude. Like, you have to be more assertive. You have to establish yourself. And the way you do that is by, you know, use your hands. Push through, don't be mean, don't be aggressive, but like, maybe put a hand on their shoulder and then kind of s slip in this way. Or you can tap a guy on the shoulder and say, hey man, we're trying to get through, can we get through here? And usually he'll make a little bit of room. But you can't be scared to have some people brush up against your shoulders, it's gonna happen. You just gotta get used to it. So navigate through the crowd, be assertive, don't be a little bitch about it, especially if you're, you got a girl, you're holding a girl's hand and she sees that you can't navigate through a crowd, she's gonna be like, oh, I'm with a total pussy right now. So navigate through the crowd, get close to them, okay? Step three is once you've gotten close to them, just say something to get a reaction, okay? Be loud when you do this. When I walked up to them, um, there was a bar right in front of us and people were ordering drinks. So I was like, yeah, let me get a double-double, fries, a milkshake, and a bunch of people in front of me just started cracking up because I was pretending like I was ordering from In-N-Out. <laughs> so I, I see which people are kind of like looking around at me. There was some dudes, some dudes were giggling. Three, three girls turned around and started kind of like laughing at my joke. 
Um, one of them was like kind of interested. Two of them were pretty interested. Um, the two that were pretty interested, I engaged the one that I thought was a little cuter and we just started talking. So I was like, we just started, had some playful banter about how great in and out is, how, how bomb the fast food chain it is. Um, and then after we had a little bit of playful banter back and forth, I was like, hey, what's up? I'm Lloyd. How's your night going? And we just we shook hands and she introduced ourselves, found out if she lived in the city or not. I went through my five questions that I recommend that you guys say every time you're talking to a girl. If you haven't checked out that video, check out my video on five questions to ask that I ask every single girl when I'm out. So I found out who she was with, what her plan was for the night. Uh, seemed like a pretty, pretty good match. So um, we make it to the bar and we're ordering drinks and I'm right next to this girl and we just had a, you know, typical conversation in this area this is going to be step four i don't even know if this should be a step but whatever you have to speak loudly and slowly if it's a loud crowded environment people are going to be interrupting your conversation there's going to be music if she can't hear you she's probably not going to hang out with you also too people tend to assume that people with very loud voices have more social power I don't know why that's just the way it is people who are larger and have bigger voices they just people tend to assume that they have a little bit more um social status so be loud and if you i speak pretty fast so if you're out i would speak at around a third of the pace that you're used to speaking and i try and do this too because what's going to happen is the sounds and the music it's going to be punching holes in what you're saying and if you speak slowly, the holes that it punches into your words, people are still going to be able to understand you, and she's going to also speak slower too, so you're actually going to be able to have a conversation. And I know what you're thinking, but won't people be listening in alongside us? Yes, they should be. You should get used to being the center of attention. That's just something you got to get good at if you want to pick up girls while you're out. Okay? I actually want people to be listening in because sometimes people will chime in and a girl will say something and if she seems really interested in that, that conversation, the girl that I'm talking to is kind of like whatever's about it, I might just go and talk to her. That happens all the time, okay? In this case, it didn't happen. All right, so we're finishing up our drinks and it's real crowded and I the next step, the step, uh, I don't know what step we're on, five? Is it five? I don't know. Five. The next step is we need to get out of this crowd. So it's time to move them. Once this happens, I'm like, hey, it's real crowded here. Uh, we're heading to a bar next door you should come with. Or in this case, I said, oh my God, it's so crowded here. Let's go find, find a spot to sit down. So I knew that she was um, with just one friend. I'd figure that out. I thought she was, a lot of times people assume that just because people are in a group together, that they're, they, they, came, they showed up together and they're together. That's usually not true. Like a lot of times they literally just met. So the only way that you know that is by actually opening and talking to them and using the five questions that I specified. So if they say they're with a huge group of people and they want to stay with them, no big deal. But in this case, she was with just one friend and they wanted to get out of this crowd too. Usually people are kind of uncomfortable in crowds too. You're not the only one. So I take her hand, I move her through the crowd, again, assertively, and we go and we sit down. Um, she brought her friend with her. Uh, my buddy who was waiting in the back um, started talking to her friend. I'm talking to the girl that I talk, started talking to. And then I think after that, we bounced to another bar and it was pretty smooth sailing from there. So that's how you get a girl. When you go into the crowd, that's how you get her to come out with you and then just continue business as you usually would. I would say that the biggest things that guys get wrong in this area are being overwhelmed, not taking action at the beginning, not speaking loud enough, not moving with enough authority when they're moving through the crowds. You, you, have, to be, you have to assume that you're important enough to establish yourself. Dude, everyone in the crowd is nervous. Everyone's just as socially anxious as you are. Stop getting in your own head. Get out of your own head and start doing the things that you have to do, okay? Once you start doing these movements, you start speaking louder and clearer and start leading people, then a lot more people are going to want to follow you and you're going to be able to have a lot more success with women. They're looking for a guy to take charge. They're looking for a guy to lead them around. And if you can be that guy, then you're going to be really successful, especially in large, crowded environments. So if you guys made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one mentorship program, shoot me an email, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. Y'all have any questions, put them in the comment section below, or you can shoot me an email too. Would be happy to answer them in a video or respond to you that way. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.